Mm -hmm. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. This is JR Wisdom, and I have a special guest today, QT Dub, my man here. We're going to be talking about something for you young men out here. Maybe you guys have experienced it, but I know this is an important topic that needs to be covered because a lot of us, we don't know it all, especially when we're dating at a young age or getting into relationships at a young age and thinking that, especially without mentorship, thinking that we know it all. So with that being said, the the topic in particular is, is when you get into serious relationships at an early age, right? Whether it's a very, it's a committed relationship, marriage, baby mama, so on and so forth. Are we fully prepared to be the provider, the husband, the overall cherisher, sustainer, protector of our girlfriends, wives, things like that? So I know we had a conversation last night where we, mm -hmm. me and QTW had a conversation about it. And we have a similar backstory, which, you know, we'll briefly go into deep you know, details about it or not briefly go into details, but kind of explain the situation and lessons learned mm -hmm. about, you know, what we came about with that. So from your experience, you, you, you have a unique situation that many people may not know about, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you say? So w with your situation, what, what was the age range when you got into your serious relationship? Okay. At the time? My, you tell everybody. I got into my serious relationship at, at 21. Okay. 21, just drinking age, um, hmm. and, and the mother uh, of my child was 19. Okay. So, you know, everybody definitely with those ages, 21 and 19, will, will definitely throw the word kid around. Right. You know, it'd be like, okay, you, you two kids were trying to get, you know, have a run at it, have a go at it. And, you know, in TV world, all of that's fine and dandy. Yeah. Because yeah. that does work out just fine in a, you know, 120 minute movie. Right. You know, two kids get it together and they wreck, you know, they knock it around a little bit and they make it. The problem is, is we deal in the now. Mm -hmm. And we always like to single out the modern woman, but we're in modern times. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So we're modern men and, and modern women. And. The problem, like you were saying with mentorship, we didn't know what we were doing. Mm. And I feel that a overall shortcoming in our community as a whole, as an entire whole, mm -hmm. is that we send our youth out to go combine themselves with each other with nothing but you kids will be all right. Yeah. All, all you got to do is love each other and you'll be all right. right. All you got to do is just be nice. And, and, and there's so much more to it and you don't get that without proper mentorship like you were saying and you know not to mm -hmm. you know to, to to bring up a lot of other names or whatever but that was one of the 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 pieces of of peace so to speak that the, you know what i'm saying the, the late mr kevin samuels right. brought to me was because for the longest when and we had like a 15 year run so we, you know, we kept at this for a long time. We yeah. went from kids to not being kids anymore, Jeez. and that was part of the problem because. Was this cons was this consistent or was it off and on? No, it was consistent. Consistent, okay. And see, but yeah. but the but the problem was because I started in it early, mm -hmm. too early to be doing it, not knowing how to go about doing it if I was going to do it that early. And combined with other things like that we like to call black tax, I meaning dealing with stuff that you shouldn't be doing, like I'm 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 saving my mom's. Right. You see what I'm okay. saying? Like okay. like things like that. You said black tax? Black tax. Those I are, never heard that one. Those man, are those, those, hey yeah. man, for you hey, you know, we get yeah, into stuff ahead, like that. that to them. We get into stuff mean? like that on off the dome sometime, our podcast. Okay. But black tax, um and, and you know, my my, the, my my daughter's mother gets into this too, you okay. know, we explain this. But black tax are, are, are some of the things that we as black children grow up with because we've been taxed by our black parents in, in some instances. And what okay. I mean, like, sometimes that's financial literacy, not having it. That's a black tax. Not, not having appreciation for credit. Gotcha. A lot of times, okay. that's a, you see what I'm saying, that's a black tax. Then if you add on a lot of other dysfunction, like drug use and alcohol abuse, those are other things that can combine to your your black tax. Yeah. So mine in my instance is my mom dealt with a lot of her own trauma right. with substances. And then as a teenager, I got into 
captain save mode for you know what I'm saying for my dear mind. So my yeah. my thing is those things carried over into our young lives of trying to make a go. Right. When again we had no mentorship and what you know knowing what we were doing. And when I say and we got into this last night. Yeah. When I say not knowing what we were doing, this is what I mean by this. As a 19 year old woman going into early 20s, mid 20s, mm. those were my the mother of, of my child's most valuable right. years as a woman. Right. She gave them to me. Mm. Now, unbeknownst to her at that time, she didn't know what she was doing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This is what we know now. And this is what we're talking about as far as not having mentorship. Now, in a lot of our male spe spaces today, mm -hmm. What do we say, especially in this modern time, the way finances and things are needed in order to be able to be that guy that you have to be to maintain a house and a relationship? Okay. Most of us don't even advise young men before 30 and 35 to even consider a serious relationship. And it's like, why? And it's like, why is that the case? You need time to find your purpose. Mm -hmm. You need time to conquer your piece of whatever it is, because until you do that, you're not proven. Right. And when you're not proven, what do we say? You can't be revered. That woman That's the has word. to not just love you for the the uh, the um. I, you know, we don't like the S word sometimes, but. The, you know the submission yeah, or yeah, like yeah, we yeah. like to say the cooperation right if you really want to have that you have to be revered how do you be revered you find your purpose and you become great at it because really to be honest that woman needs to sign up with you and your purpose she almost has to love your purpose more than she loves you. Mm -hmm. So that way your dedication to that purpose makes her revere you. Then that way you don't have to go through all of the back and forths and the, you know what I'm saying, the, 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 pull, the, the, the tug of war that right. we have with this power dynamic that we now have in our relationships. Now, because really what we're talking about now are power dynamics. The power dynamics between, especially the, the black and the man and the black woman, has shifted for a bunch of reasons. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of us will jump to, you know, liberal agendas. Yeah, that has happened. Feminism. Yes, that has happened. Social media. Yeah. All of those things play to play, but modern women were going to come about anyway because of mathematics. You see what I'm saying? It's, yeah. not, a, it's not a man for every woman. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, People can't really survive off of a working man's income anymore by himself. So if you're not that dude, that's why everybody got caught up on high value. Yeah. Because if you're not that guy that can provide that type of life, then you're going to have to be a little bit, you know, wavering a little bit on some of your, right. your demands, you know. As a, So anyway, and what I'm saying is nowadays the women have to help. So if they have to help, then for the you, average, is this, the, this is yeah, for the average gotcha, guy. You gotcha. see what I'm saying? But that, this is what I mean. If you can't afford that lifestyle where she doesn't have to go anywhere, mm -hmm. if she does have to clock in somewhere, then as a guy, you have to mitigate a little bit of your expectations a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can still expect a, a couple of meals a, a week, but you want to expect <laughs> something every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been going the same amount of time as you. So, but, but my right. thing is, some of this stuff we don't. We don't get instruction on right. and, and, and especially in the early age. So long story short, like I was saying, it took me, you know, ref reflection in the sphere. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I appreciate it, because it's not all about, oh, look what that bad woman did. Yeah. It's not. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Of, and, and again, you know, with, with Mr. Samuels, a lot of it was our personal reflection, how to make ourselves worthy for what we expected mm -hmm. out of a woman. But of course, nobody cared about that. Nah. Because again, we got tough skin. If we didn't like what he was saying, we would either stop looking Thanks. at it or we would change what we didn't like about ourselves. But of course, when we did that to females, they just started down world star and it, sending it yeah. to every, which, you know, anyway. But my point is, is men have to be prepared to have a woman. Right. Just being fucking cute and witty and funny, that'll get you some. Mm -hmm. That'll get you a girlfriend for a little while. 
It will not have you revered. You will not get the cooperation you're looking for. Now, if you don't want any of that, it's all good. It's all good. If you if you find, you know what I'm saying, 50-50 in it, and then the, the lady <laughs> say whatever she want to say and do what she do when she do whatever, and you, then it's all good. But if you want that stuff that everybody be talking about, you got to prepare for that. Got you. So I'm, I'm hearing from what you're saying. So you got the, the, the black tax was obviously a factor. Mm -hmm. uh, single mother. Is that what you, is that what you were saying? But for, for, for you. Us, for you. I, I'm the son of a single mother? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So single as, mother. As, as she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No role model. I, yeah. Well, I'm just speaking like from uh, the, the man being yes. prepared. Yes. So yes. So no, yes. no role model. You got into a serious relationship at 21, mm -hmm. just a drinking age. Mm -hmm. your, uh, your partner at that time of 15 years, your, your daughter's mother, was 19. younger than you. 19, so y'all yeah. were both basically yeah. just babies, just... Mm -hmm learning in real time mm -hmm. about where are we going what are we doing learning about each other learning mm -hmm. about what you want mm -hmm. which obviously like i said my situation which i know a lot of you guys may have heard and as i was explaining to you last night i was in a similar situation raised by a single mother didn't have a mentor or any guidance and for as just a male figure or somebody to look at other than television mm -hmm. of how this thing is supposed to go to really show me how to be a husband. What my, this young girl, cause she's, uh, I got married at 19. My, um, ex-wife was 19. So we're just kids. She's not knowing how to be a wife, but really the woman is not supposed to mentor the man. The man is supposed to mentor and provide guidance to the, to the woman. So I wasn't able to do that because I wasn't equipped to do mm -hmm. that at that point in life because mm -hmm. I really didn't know who I was. was she didn't know who she was. So, and this is another talking point where we were, we were uh, I know that's talked about um, kind of like what you were saying in reference to women dating older men mm -hmm. or marrying older men that are more financially stable, more wise, and that are able to impute you know, wisdom, be able to take care of because of all these things, he's able to take care of a family mm -hmm, mm -hmm. kind of has been in relationships yep. or should have been in relationships yep. Yep. dating yep. to know what it is that a woman wants or what not to do with a woman mm -hmm. or may have found a mentor along his journey within yep. his twenties. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm, I'm in agreement with you. Definitely. You shouldn't be getting married in your twenties. You know, uh, mid thirties, I would say at least at that point, that mm -hmm. way, you know, for sure, this is something I want to do. Mm -hmm. I've already experienced certain things. The, like I said, the nature of a man is strong. I've said that several times. Um, you, if you find out, yeah, if you find out that's what you want and that's what you want to do and you're willing to settle down with a woman, not just because of her looks, mm -hmm. cause that will fade. If this is someone that you can actually communicate with, talk with, she basically you can have conversations like in the you know not to talk about will smith because you guys have your own thoughts about him but if you read his book or listen to his book he said that him and jada could talk for hours mm -hmm. at a time just mm -hmm. sit there and have conversations with this person you know for hours and not think anything of it mm -hmm. if you can't stand the presence or the only time you guys can communicate is in the bedroom you know that's going to be an issue because your dick may not always work, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she may not, you know, she may come to a point. So yeah. it's just certain things like that where, um, it's just certain things like that where we have, we have to be real about ourselves and know that we aren't, we don't know everything. We're, you know, we're not the best thing since sliced bread. If you haven't cultivated it fresh out, we're not granted with certain knowledge. We have to work on building these things within ourselves. And know that it's, you know, we have to be that we have to provide that leadership. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just learning it on the job when it comes to relationships isn't gonna cut it. Mm -hmm. Just my just my thoughts. No, you know you, what I'm saying? And, 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 and not to, to make this long winded, ahead, yeah. but to, to to kind of bring this back full circle to what my opinion this fear is actually about because I know people on the outside don't really know what it's about. Right. And I know sometimes it's, it's represented by the, 
the extreme wackadoos, you know what I'm saying, sometimes. <laughs> but I feel like the point of you bringing this up is, and to me what brings it home to right. this fear is, who is supposed to help prepare people for their relationship? Right. Particularly a young man, because that's the one of the issues is that we have a lot of single mothers mm -hmm. sending their young men out telling them all they got to do is be nice. Mm. All you got to do is be smart. All you got to do is be funny. All you got to do is not cheat on them and everything will be fine. No. That's real life. Yeah, because that's what goes on. If you, I think I know a lot of you guys can agree with what he just said. This is what we are hearing. Just be nice. Just be a good guy. You know, send her flowers and roses. You know, tell her you like her. Tell her she's special. Mm -hmm. And all these things, and like you said, that's a different, that's a different topic, you know, and, and that I'm getting off on. But <laughs> just being, just being, that person that is able to provide security, provide balance, provide the voice of reason and stability, financially, mm -hmm. you know, mentally, and every other way. Mm -hmm. In this relationship, because you are the rock mm -hmm. of uh, of the family dynamic, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and that's how it should be. But I think that this is this is a conversation that can go on for quite some time. You know, I just wanted for the young guys who are watching to know from you know two uh, older gentlemen, you know, that's not in their twenties, you know, said <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that we we've had these situations and have have been through it firsthand and learned. You know, lessons learned to sit back and reflect. Because a wise man, a wise not a wise man, a wise <laughs> man will reflect on you know his past and his shortcomings mm -hmm. and what he could have done and lessons learned, and apply them, apply them for any future relationships and teach them to the younger guys who are coming up. Mm -hmm. And that's what this channel is about. I'm pretty sure that's what. Obviously, we got a, you know, great things coming up to you guys for you guys to learn. Um, that you may not have heard before from a different perspective because that's what it's all about here. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. You got anything else you want to add, QT Dub? No, man, I appreciate you damn having a discussion with hey, me, man, no doubt. You know, it's more to come, man. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys rocking with us. You know, we got more content coming for you guys live from the streets of Atlanta. If you didn't already know, it's coming. And, uh, you know, as usual, you guys hit that subscribe button coming you know like and uh you know all the links in the description you know follow us follow me on instagram where can they follow you at hey you can follow me at ibqt dub on the gram i um, mean you can follow us on um on on the youtube at off the dome mm -hmm. it's off the dome podcast odd check us all out all that'll be in the, the description as well and with that being said man peace be upon you all the mercy and blessings of the almighty we'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out peace it's God's true beef maker. And I don't know. I have to put a light in the sky for the G's that don't turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them.